Hi friends, it's Deanna here today, and today we're going to do a Valentine's inspired quick sew. I'm wearing Valentine's today, I'm wearing a 90s dress uh, made in this heart fabric. So that inspired me today to make a new Valentine's outfit, and what better way to do this than with a, some, a couple of really quick, fast, super easy, but cute patterns. Let's do it. All right, today I'm going to be using the oversized tee, I'm going to be using the boat neck band, and I'm going to be using the tunic length. I'm going to be doing cuffs, and I'm adding a little heart detail to the elbow. Um, I'm also going to be using the urban leggings. I'm gonna use a uh, red double brush poly for this because I think it's gonna be adorable and it's gonna be perfect for uh, Valentine's Day. So let's get started. Today I'm starting with the um, oversized tee. I already cut out my pattern piece, here's my sleeve. And like I said, I want to add a heart detail. So what I did is I traced out a heart. I just did a freehand, but you can print out a heart um, if you like a clip art art from your computer, whatever. Um, so I just cut it out in half and I measured it. It looks like it's going to be just about right what I wanted, how big I want it. I wanted a big red heart on my sleeve. So then I'm going to use some of the same fabric that I'm using uh, for my leggings and I'm going to cut this heart out of that fabric. All right, now I know that I didn't do the greatest job of cutting because my uh, uh, rotary cutter is very dull, but it'll be fine because the edges will just look a little bit raw. That's fine with me. Um, you can be as particular as you want with it to get it just right. And then I'm gonna grab my sleeve and I'm gonna place my heart right where I want it on my sleeve. It's gonna be, this is gonna be so cute. Now, you know that um, this is a drop sleeve, so I'm gonna be doing it a little bit higher than I think, probably somewhere around here, um, just so it's placed right in the middle. So I have some of this steam -a seam uh, tape, and I like to use that when I'm doing appliques because if you hold it down or steam it down, it will um, kind of hold it in place. Well, it's tape, so it will kind of hold that pattern, that piece in, in place, so when I go to sew it, um, it doesn't wanna move on me when I'm you know, trying to sew this, this piece on here. Now, obviously, some people are more perfectionist than I am. Now I'm gonna do that on both sleeves. All right, so I'm coming to my sewing machine and I'm doing a straight stitch. I'm gonna start at that point of the heart because I want it to come to start right at that point so I can uh, put it down. I'm using the same color thread as the applique so it really will not show. I want my foot to hold that down so um, I'm going a little bit in, about a quarter inch from the edge of my applique. And then I'm just carefully stitching it on. As I'm turning, I might lift my foot a little bit and help it turn so that my fabric doesn't get caught and tangled. When I get to the bottom, I lift my foot and can turn and continue over. I love how this applique turned out. Super cute. Let's grab our top now and sew our shoulders right sides together and our neckband so the shoulder raw edge right sides together as well. Now it's time to attach our sleeves. Let's mark that half of the sleeve and place it right on the half seam where the shoulder seam is of our sleeve and match them right sides together and sew. And then I'm also going to go ahead and quarter my neckband and my neck so that way we can attach it on at the same time. And then once it's quarter, we're going to attach those quarter points together. Once our sleeves are on, we're going to go ahead and sew those side seams right sides together. I'm trying to match my uh, stripes, but I'm not the best at that. That's okay though. 
We will also prep our cuffs by folding them right sides together and sewing that raw edge. Remember, this is a quick sew, but we do have full tutorials on both of these sews, so if you want to go check them out. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold that sleeve cuff right, uh, wrong sides together and attach it to my sleeve uh, by halving it and attaching the halves together and sewing. Time for hemming. I am going to be using a cover stitch, but you can definitely use a sewing machine for hemming with a stretch stitch. My friends, we are done with this sweater. How adorable did these sleeves turn out? I am obsessed. I think this is super cute. Such a quick, cute sew. You can do this hack really with any kind of pattern that you want to do it to, any long sleeve top that you want to do it to, you can even do it to a ready to wear, um, something you bought from the store and you're like, oh, that would be really cute to add to it. Go for it. Um, like I said, this is a tunic length, so it's a little bit longer uh, because I'm going to go ahead and make the urban leggings next. And I like the tops to be a little bit longer uh, when I'm wearing them with leggings. So let's go ahead and see how quick we can make those urban leggings so I can finish up this super cute Valentine's inspired So. All right, my friends, this pattern is super easy to sew. What we're going to do first is we're gonna match up the side edge of our uh, leggings for each leg, right sides together, and sew. Then we're going to grab one leg and turn it right side out, and we're gonna fit the other leg right into it, matching them right sides together and sewing around the crotch curve. I'm also grabbing my waistband and folding it right sides together and sewing that short raw edge. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach our waistband by matching our half points and then matching our quarter points to our waistband and our pants, putting them right sides together and sewing. Now I didn't hem on this video, but that would be our last step. My friends, I am done. How adorable does this turn out? I love this set. I think it looks super cute. I love this. And it was so quick, so easy, so simple. I hope you will sew it up with me. Go grab your patterns. The link will be on the information uh, box below. So go grab your patterns, sew them up with me, and then come share them on our Facebook and Instagram page. We'd love to see your makes. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Go have an awesome Valentine's Day and I'll see you all next time.